Good morning, guys. We are in Memphis, Tennessee. We are packing up our stuff right now. We're about to leave the hotel and we have a lot of stuff to do today in Memphis because we just got here last night and all we did was check out Beale Street and like that area at nighttime. So we want to go back. We want to go to a couple gift shops and then we're going to, what we're we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna go to the Peabody Hotel like right around 11 o'clock because we wanna watch them bring down the ducks for the day, which I guess is like something that you have to see while you're in Memphis. So we're gonna go see the ducks at the Peabody Hotel and then we're going to see Elvis Presley's house. And then after that, we're gonna come back into town and we're gonna go see the Bass Pro Shops, which is, in the shape of a pyramid which is really cool and you get to go all the way up to the top and get like a really awesome view of memphis and the river and all that stuff so we're we're super excited we have a busy day so we're gonna get going we are walking through downtown memphis right now we're heading towards the peabody hotel because they're gonna be bringing the ducks down very soon in like a half an hour i think so we just parked the truck it really sometimes it really sucks having a u-haul because we have to park like really far away in big like open parking lots that allow trailers so and now i'm out of breath because we just walked up a huge hill but we parked the truck and we're walking to the hotel now and here's downtown memphis Oh look babe, I think this is where we're supposed to be. Yeah.
totally just watched ducks walk the red carpet. That was pretty cute. Do you like a rubber ducky cocktail? Oh my goodness. There's a rubber ducky. Yeah, I know, it's really cool. This is the view. This is the view from the top of the Duck Palace. Or from, well, it's the top of the Peabody Hotel, but this is called the Duck Palace that we're on. So this is the view from the Duck Palace. Mississippi River, the bridge. My babe. <laughs> It's really hard to see in there, but this is the Duck Palace. They like actually stay in the Peabody right there. There's like a hole for them to go to go and like sleep in. And they have a little fountain so they can be in the water. To the Empire State Building. There's another 60 floors up. There. Yeah, my Peabody's doing great. Bunch of 70 floors up. For six hours. I guess I didn't realize this hotel was so fancy until we got inside of it. Hi guys, okay, it was a little busy. We, as you can see, are eating in this place called Huey's and this is my burger. It's A1 steak burger and it's really good. And apparently it's world famous too. These fries are delicious. That food is delicious. She got the... I got a Fiesta chicken wrap. Fiesta chicken wrap. And yes, it comes with chips and salsa yeah, on the Yeah, it comes with chips and some salsa on the side. It looks really good. Look at that. Nom, 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 nom. River boat. River boats. The river boat. The river boat. I'm in San Diego, B-Ball. There's the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. We're gonna go there later. But right now we're heading back to the truck and we're going to see Elvis Presley's house. Hello, Elvis. to Graceland and yeah we got our tickets right here we're sitting to Elvis <laughs> Elvis's house but um there's no flash photography or videoing video okay. video so do your best Elvis do your best Elvis impression <laughs> oh my god you're so good babe yeah thank you thank you very much <laughs> Hi guys, so we are back in downtown Memphis. We just left Graceland and we had a really fun time. We got to see we had to see the house, which that tour itself was like over an hour. There was so much to see there. It was really awesome. And then we went and we saw all of like a lot of his personal belongings, um, his outfits, his cars that he drove his airplane. We saw a lot of stuff. We were there for almost four hours. That's how long it took. And there's like four different tickets, like four different, how, what do you call it? Packages. Four different packages. Thanks, babe. And we bought like the second package up. So we paid like $57. Oh yeah, it was $57 per person, which I know is insane, but for the price you pay, you get to see a lot of stuff, and 
it's really cool like when you go in the house you can get like pretty close up to like everything and like take pictures of everything the only thing like obviously you can't use flash photography and they don't allow you to film anything so we can only take pictures but i will put like a bunch of them in the video It was definitely worth it so that was a lot of fun and now we are back in downtown memphis and we are at the bass pro shops pyramid and i'm super excited for this now, of course there's a bridge in the way i don't know why i just did that but i'll get a better picture when we get up closer and i'm super excited to go to the top because i guess when you go to the top you get like a great view of memphis so looking forward to that here's the pyramid this thing is really cool and one, I love Bass Pro Shops and two, I like great views of places. So this is gonna be awesome. And this has the tallest freestanding elevator inside, which babe, you're gonna be fine, right honey? He's gonna it's love it. Glass, okay? 20, but it's, 28 stories But it's glass. indoors, honey. No. And I think this is the ninth biggest pyramid in the world. In the world. So, what? It's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. It is absolutely freezing in this store, so I'm really happy that they have a fire going. Biggest Bass Pro Shops I've ever been in. This Bass Pro Shops has a hotel, and if you look like up here, around, like those are the rooms that you stay in, which is really freaking cool. And I just asked Tom, I was like, I wonder if the people who stay here can shop after hours. Somebody's calling me right now. It's in my back pocket. Go to Bass Pro Shops for. Hey boy, you got you got to touch your toe to it, honey. I'll get it on video and prove that you did that. 
See, you're good, babe. The views from up here are amazing. Oh my god. And over the bridge, that's Arkansas. There's a sign on the bridge that says, Welcome to Arkansas. So basically, you just cross the Mississippi and there you go. It's really cool up here. Babe, are you having fun, honey? Yep. I know, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> have made it over the border into Mississippi. We're staying here for the night and we're going to a barbecue place called Memphis Barbecue because it's the place that our Uber driver told us to go to. He said it's like the best barbecue place ever. So we're going there, but I wanted to show you the sunset first. If it'll come out, there it is. Look how pretty that is. Oh my God. I live for sunsets. And this is chips and queso. Our food came out really freaking quick. I got the ribs, mac and cheese. I guess the corn comes with cornbread. Yeah, it comes with cornbread. And corn on the cob. And what'd you get, honey? I got the baked beans again. It looks like it's bacon in this time. Oh yeah. Pulled pork, mac and cheese, brisket. Done. <laughs> and we found out this place is on was on diners, drive-ins, and dives. So. Excited. Hi guys, so I just wanted to apologize because we did not end the vlog last night because we got back from dinner and we were just so tired we passed out. Like I was trying to do stuff on my laptop and I fell asleep with my laptop on my lap. That's how tired I was and Tom put on a movie and he fell asleep too. So I'm just going to use this as the ending of yesterday's vlog. And then, and then we'll just start like a new vlog for today, which we're just traveling through Mississippi and into Louisiana. So I don't know like how much we're actually gonna do, but we'll just, we'll do a new vlog still. Sound good, babe? Yes, okay. All right, so, <laughs> so we'll say goodbye to this vlog and then we will start a new one.